This is CBS News Miami. We do begin though with that breaking news. In just the last half hour, we have learned that a man has died in that Miami-Dade fire rescue training exercise. CBS News Miami's Joe Gorcho is live at Jackson Memorial Hospital breaking these new de details down for us. Joe, major update, and of course we had a lot of questions earlier, so what can you tell us? Well, it's an update many probably were hoping not to hear. Despite life-saving measures, Miami-Dade police tell CBS News Miami a 28-year-old flown here to Ryder Trauma Center on Friday in critical condition did not survive. And although not a Miami-Dade firefighter, the victim was related to one. So that brings up even more questions as to why that individual was inside a building in Virginia Gardens during a firefighter training exercise when the fire broke out. Today, our Morgan Reiner push the Miami-Dade County Mayor for answers. Unfortunately, as you know, there was a disastrous fire. At a campaign event Saturday morning, Miami-Dade County Mayor Daniela Levine Cava said what happened was a training exercise gone wrong. Chopper 4 flew over the scene, showing a massive response on the 6500 block of Northwest 36th Street. On Friday morning, a fire erupted at a three-story building in Virginia Gardens, creating distress. We're making entry for a search. Mayday, mayday, mayday. We got a down fireman. We're bringing them down, down the stairs. The training operation, which took a tragic turn, was a joint effort involving MDFR, international firefighters, and other trainees. Training at the building was authorized. However, the mayor couldn't tell us if setting the fire was. At this time, it's under full investigation. I do not have anything further that I can report to you, but I can let you know that we are all deeply, deeply concerned, and we are investigating, the state is investigating, our police department is investigating, and our internal affairs department. And along with MDPD arson detectives, the state fire marshal is also investigating this training exercise turned tragic, leaving a 28-year-old dead who is related to a firefighter, along with many unanswered questions. Joe Gorcho, CBS News, Miami.